Hi friends, this is next video in my uh, this series of security enterprise security solution. So <clears throat> this video is about the architecture of uh, enterprise security. So as I have already uh, explained that uh, this app is premium solution of Splunk. So for that, uh, if you you want it uh, to implement into your environment, you are for for your company. So you need to contact to Splunk. Uh, for the license uh, and if you want to uh, do some development kind of things uh, so there is a sandbox available for that so uh, let's start with uh, uh, this topic architecture of uh, Splunk uh, so uh, Splunk security is a <coughs> Splunk app that contains a collection of add-ons so it's a, a kind of a, collection of add-on in uh, combination this add-ons provide the dashboard uh, searches uh, and tools that summarize the security posture of a enterprise uh, for the enterprise or for, for uh, uh, one's organization so this allowing user to monitor and act on the security incident and intelligence so uh, it, it generally provide you a posture a dashboard where you can see you are in uh, real-time incidents is going going on with respect to your attack or or any kind of security threat or any uh, security related incident so yes inherit knowledge objects provided by the add-ons include in the Splunk security package so so the the add-ons uh, uh generally in the add-ons is already bundled in the in the uh, enterprise security uh, package so generally there are three types of add-ons so we can say the architecture of splunk contains uh, three types of uh, add-ons so mainly uh, so three types uh, there are three types of uh, add-ons uh, for the secure uh, <coughs> enterprise security uh, domain add-on so we call it as ds supporting add-ons we call it as ss uh, technical add uh, add-on also called as ts ts uh, so uh, this uh, generally this uh, naming convention is not like uh, you can change as, you, uh, as per your name if you if you wanted to want to uh, build your own da sa or ta so you can give your own name but it's it's good that uh, with every da ta uh, sa you you include that naming convention is starting uh, in middle uh, like if you are creating any da so it, it should start with splunk hyphen uh, da hyphen your name of that d so this it's the the, the naming convention of uh, <coughs> indicates the uh, primary contribution of that add-ons to the overall sol solution so it has its own uh, a mechanism means its own uh, all these uh, three types of add-on add ha have the individual task to do individual uh, task or individual things to do so da typically contains a dashboard and other views along with the uh, search objects that populate them okay so, so there are few search objects that contains ds so ss can contain a variety of files but typically do not contains the input so this is about essay and uh, uh, ta of uh, often contains a data input as well as the files that help normalize and uh, prepare that data uh, for displaying in enterprise security so this is uh, a definition of uh, all this so generally how how the ta uh, sits on the tsdas and ss sits on the enterprise security so we can have have a look uh, you you can see sa the the <coughs> a support add-ons uh, covers in all this these phases of uh, or 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 uh, the part of splunk security data model dashboard and and this one da supports uh, from uh, data model to lookup and then then ta supports from lookup to input uh, 
so this is typical architecture of uh, <coughs> enterprise security how these add-ons are are work together to uh, form a security posture or or form a specific functionality of, of security also also <coughs> there is that thing we need to uh, we need to know that enterprise security depends on all three types of add-ons for all functionality to be fully available so if one of the one of the ta or da is not working that means you will not get a full uh, outcome from the security enterprise security okay so let's have a look one by one with i mean in the uh, these add-ons so let's come uh, domain add-ons da's so a domain add-ons provide a view into security domain okay that <coughs> da's include with the enterprise security content search knowledge for the investigation and summarize uh, of security relevant data security relevant data it will summarize each domain include summary dashboard that gives an overview of a matrix along with a search view to drill down uh, uh, to more detailed information so uh, it, it generally provides <coughs> uh, a drill down facility where you can uh, see how your 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 threat or how your incident is is behaving or 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 you can go to each and every part uh, part of it that uh, if any attack is there from which source the attack has come or or what is the source of it what is the destination of it what users are uh, doing this activity so these all include in this this view act interactive starting point to investigate and explore the data to discover abnormal behavior so this is the typical definition of domain add-on now let's go to the uh, support add-on a support add-on uh, generally uh, uh, provide an intermediate uh, knowledge that normalize normalize layer of enterprise security solution architecture so this kind of a normalized layer essay contains a variety of file type to support other parts of architecture and framework so this kind of a normalizing uh, layer of uh, of uh, enterprise security where it has a file that that supports uh, for for a particular framework or or, or in the architecture like uh, it support for ta or da as well in enterprise security the sa layer contains the schemas are used to map data uh, source into a common information model for analyzing through a data model so uh, it, it actually it can it map a source uh, to sim common information model and uh, and the data model for the analysis so so sim and and data model is very crucial for for enterprise security i'll create a video on sim and and data model separately so uh, now again sa also <coughs> hosts the information about assets and identity along with the searches to correlate that data provide al <coughs> and provide alerts and other event to the domain so now <coughs> the main main part of it uh, uh, whenever any activity is happening in the in the in the uh, in your event or your organization so so the asset or the identity we we need to uh, uh, we need to give some kind of uh, risk assessment for the asset and identity whether this uh, this identity has <coughs> means it's, it's related to some some uh, uh, known threat or no or 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 uh, the ident identity whether this identity is hacked or or identity as and username is hacked with some uh, user or or it is that the user which is which which is uh, trying to to access your environment is really authenticated user or not so oh, this kind of uh, detail uh, detailing can be provided by uh, the sa part of it 
so now the next thing is technical add-on the technical add-on it's generally it, it it uses for the for for the input uh, so so the uh, so the technical add-on collects the form uh, formats uh, uh, incoming data for use of enterprise security and the other app so it, it, ta generally we can use for any purpose it is for a uh, here uh, we are using for enterprise security so it can be used in your normal app as well so tas can also be provide adaptive adaptive uh, response action for the adaptive response framework so there is there is a term called adapt, adaptive response where whenever the whenever the uh, something happens or any critical things happen so how how can we automate the things so that can be possible through adaptive response okay the tas are most common type of an uh, uh, it's a kind of uh, add-on most common use uh, add-on and there of are uh, these are often uh, referred to as add-ons without a specific reference to an add-on type so a ta provide uh, a, a layer of ab abstraction that forms the link between a data from a specific uh, technology such as mccafe data or or, or like uh, juniper firewall logs and the high level configuration uh, in the it provides a high level configuration in the enterprise security so ta also contains a real time uh, knowledge mapping that assigned field and tag to the data to be used by the other layers or or all the layers so this is uh, uh generally this is the the architecture or 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 we can say the es contains of this add-ons so uh, just try to remember uh, a simple definition of uh, of ta sa and da so let's uh, recap that in this uh, session so as i already mentioned that uh, the splunk security uh, is a premium app so you need to um, you need to uh, get the license from the splunk so this video is about we we, we uh, talked about uh, architecture of splunk so, so architecture of splunk contains a domain add-on support add-on or technical add-on so we have talked about uh, datas and ss so what is da da typically contains a dashboard and the other views along with a search object that uh, populate them now what is sa sa can contains a variety of files but a typically do not uh, do uh, data ingestion or data input ta often contains a data input as well as files that help normalize and prepare that data for displaying in the enterprise security okay so we have talked about how uh, these uh, uh, these add-on supports enterprise security means uh, uh, what all functionality is a part of which uh, TAs and DAs. So we you can have a look. These are all the functionality or these are all the all the um, all the things which covers each an individual uh, enter, uh, um, enter, uh, individual uh, tasks. So we have talked about a detailed definition of. Uh, uh, domain add-on support add-on and, and uh, uh, technical add-on so i think this is pretty much under uh, understandable so uh, hope you like like my video and uh, thanks for watching